Imran Awan has been arrested at Dulles Airport, apparently attempting to flee the country. This, of course, just hours after the Daily Caller released their article identifying him as being under FBI investigation. And apparently his wife and children also fled the country in March. And now there are some illuminating details about a mortgage scam where... As the Daily Caller reported, the Awans owned numerous rental properties that often have multiple mortgages taken out on them, and they would have told renters that they want payments in untraceable ways. The charging documents say Imran's wife, Hina Alvi, who also made $165,000 working for House Democrats, took out a second mortgage against a house from the Congressional Federal Credit Union by falsely claiming it was her principal residence and that she will occupy the property, and also fraudulently reported no rental income on her taxes. A renter told the FBI they paid approximately $2,000 per month for rent and that the rent check was written to uh, Surya Begum. Based on information and belief, I know that Begum is Alvia's mother, an FBI agent wrote. The agent also said Imran appears to have applied for the loan in his wife's name. So this is uh, pretty big. All of this is huge news. It could bring down the larger plot. This could all have, or I think it does have, connection to things like the Seth Rich case, among other things. And as developments come out, I will talk about them more. However, I wanted to get this news out to you quickly so you could check it out for yourself and become part of the national discussion on Twitter, as this is no doubt going to be making the social media rounds very soon. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I did want to keep this video rather brief, but let me know what you think about this. I think it's very important. Uh, some people have been saying uh, he's very much now certainly going to end up suicided by uh, two gunshots to the head um, locked in somebody's trunk, very likely. Um, However, now that he is under a spotlight, I think it's less likely, personally. But I guess only time will tell. And yeah, that'll be it for now. I'll be back later with another story. There's just so much going on today. I'm trying not to flood your guys' subscription feeds, but there's just so much going on. And I still need to talk about the swordfish thing, which, like I mentioned before, there isn't a smoking gun. There's no bombshell. But... It's a lot of interesting things to keep in mind. It's essentially Pizzagate Part 2. So anyway, that'll be it for now, and I will see you all later.